Hey guys, this is Fiend 91 and I'm bringing you another How to Off Meta, and today we're talking about Sivir Top. Now, Sivir is usually looked upon, I believe, as an ADC, and I'm not sure, maybe as a mid, but I'm not sure about that, but definitely not as a top. But Sivir can actually top pretty well. Now, I know usually I say, but to play whatever insert champion here, you need to play her slash him a little differently. Yeah, I can't really say that because I don't really play Sivir ADC. So I don't really know exactly how you would play Sivir ADC. But with Top Sivir, this is how I would play her. First things first, runes. Yeah, Lethal Tempo, definitely really good with her because every attack will cause, against a champ that is, will cause her to gain more attack speed. And then obviously her W also causes her to gain attack speed. Now the reason why I go with Presence of Mind is because she needs mana. So Presence of Mind and the Biscuits definitely do help and then... The footwear, not having to buy it, really does help as well. So these runes I'd use with her. Items. There are actually three, well, four, but you can only buy three of them because you can't have one of more of the ar armor penetrating legendaries. So I would definitely go for Stormraiser first because Stormraiser really helps with Sivir. She moves around a bunch, she's attacking, and when you get Stormraiser, it really helps because they are also slowed down when it's 100, obviously. So that, that, that is good, and also she gets the extra magic damage there as well. Then there is the armor penetrating item. Yes, that's right. I get the mythic third, which is usually Kraken Slayer. I usually get first Storm Razor. That really helps her in lane. Then I'll also get Lord Dominic's Regards or Mortal Reminder. Uh, the other one I wouldn't even bother with, but Lord Dominic's Regards is usually good, especially if Sierra's either against a tank or there are at least like one or two heroes on the next team that are tanky. And then Mortal Reminder could work if Sivir's not against a tank, and definitely if Sivir's against a hero that, you know, heals a good amount. So, Storm Razor first, then one, either Lord Dominic's Regards or Mortal Reminder, and then you get the Mythic, which is usually Kraken Slayer. Play style. Sivir needs to be aggressive, but not to the level where she really puts herself in a good amount of danger. Sivir can attack, she can use her Q from pretty far. She can even hurt champs by using her W on the minions and then letting it bounce to the champ. Not much, but it can still do some damage. So, Sivir does definitely need to be aggressive, but like I said, just not to the point where she's going to put herself in danger. Remember, she also has her E which allows her to avoid one of the enemy's abilities. Speaking of her E, it doesn't work on Nasus's Q, so I would not use her against Nasus. I don't know why, that doesn't make any sense, but her E does not work on Nasus's Q. That is so weird, but hey, it doesn't work. Another champ I wouldn't pair against is Irelia, because Irelia just is able to close the gap so easily, and Sivir kind of needs distance. But other than those two, Sivir does really well top. All right, let's summarize. Runes. Precision and Inspiration, you really need Lethal tempo, tempo, Presence of Mind, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, all that stuff, but uh, you guys could have fun with it if you want, but that's what I would use. Items, first off Storm Razor, then either Lord Dominic's Regards or Mortal Reminder, and then your Mythic, which is usually Kraken Slayer. Playstyle, aggressive, but needs to make sure she can basically always get away. Now, obviously, when she gets to level 6, it's easier. You can be a little bit more aggressive, I feel like, because you can get away much faster with her ultimate, which gives her movement speed. And remember to save her E. Depending on the situation, you really want to use it more so when a stun or a pull, sometimes an ultimate. For example, you can, with like a Garen, you could use it on his Q, or you could wait until he ults. Sivir also doesn't necessarily need to kill champions to actually get fed. She is a minion eater. Once she gets to a certain level and certain items, she eats up waves of minions and gets a good amount of gold. Also, once she gets, I think, past like her first two completed items, she starts to take towers pretty quickly. So, you don't necessarily need to get a lot of kills with her. You can eat the minions, you can eat the objectives like the towers, and you can still get a good amount of gold with her. So, what do you guys think about Silver Top? Do you like this? Do you think that I'm crazy for even trying this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.